Welcome, this is Melinda Barlow, CZD Certified Zen Tangle Teacher, and today's lesson is Spin and Swirl. And you know, I taught a class, and I think I call it Sit and Spin, but Spin and Swirl. When I did my live Zoom class, I'm sure I called it the wrong name, and it's by Schlippe Kopita. CZT23, and and I'm, I'm sure I kind of messed that name up a lot, and I just noticed here that I had not blended my, um, my graphite here. I didn't blend it out. Interesting. We'll push these aside, and I'm going to do it on a round tile, and I'm going to use a blue PN pen, a blue Prismacolor pencil. Also, I'll probably end up with a white Prismacolor pencil, and chalk pencil, and a black 01, and who knows, maybe even white, um, a white uh, jelly roll. Sometimes I really don't know what, what I'm going to do. Okay, this this tangle was more of a laid out in more of a grid, but I did it real freehand. So we're going to just do freehand. And I'm going to start up with my black 01. And I'm doing it on a little round mandala tile. These are three and a half inch tiles, and they're available in my store. And I really like these tiles. Okay, we're going to start. And I'm going to draw a diamond shape. And my diamond shape has con the the sides are not real straight. They're kind of they kind of slope in towards the center of the um, diamond because it's going to help with when I make my next um, stroke. And now I'm going to make my next stroke, and it's going to come out from that tip and around and back in. So it kind of has a little loop. Then I rotate my tile and another little loop. Well actually they're not little. They're pretty big. If you look at the size of my pen, the tip of the pen, you can see that they are mine. I like this one just a little bigger. And there is another loop. Now we're going to do another section that's going to come off of here, and we're going to start right where this intersects, and we're going to come up and do another loop. And this loop can be any size. It can be large or it can be small. Some of mine, if I do it large, then I have a place for, I can do a little reticula in there. but I come back to each one of those little intersections and I turn my tile and I get this great loopy spirally tangle. And now I'm going to come in and I'm going to aura this. And I have found that that's one of my favorite things to enhance a tangle. And um, Slippa, she did not aura hers. But I found I liked mine aura. It just gives, for me, just a little bit more depth to the tangle. And I can give it a little bit more drama. And there we have it all aura And now you can come back in to this middle little space right here. And aura this. Also, and now I'm going to switch off to my blue PN pen. And I'm going to put this wonderful little print temps or spiral right in the center. I loved 
how that just kind of swirled in there and that was part of the original design but I'm also going to come back in and I'm going to color in my little squares here in blue and also my um, triangular shapes and I'm going to come in and I'm going to do just every other one every other one in this right now and um, now I could I'm going to add a couple of more of the um, spin and swirl getting my pin out and I'm going to make my diamond and you notice it it did the holly bow effect underneath and I'm going to not draw in the middle of here because I'm going to add something in there and I want this whole thing to feel like it's underneath you could if you wanted it to have a lacy look you could leave that open now I'm going to come back and I'm going to do my other one and this one you notice I made it about the same size as my first one so that it um, kind of went underneath and now we're going to back in Aura and um, now we've aura that and I think I'm going to go ahead and Aura the inside And to keep with my color scheme, I am going to put my little blue spiral in the center. Now I really like to have a complementary of at least three in here, an odd number. So I'm going to do another one and it's going to be very small. Do I draw, do it very small? and then my second and I kind of had to take my pen to kind of figure out where it's going in Aura when I don't turn I don't Aura as well I need to make sure I turn my tile and this time I am going to put my spiral in with my black because um, just because I can so there we have now we can go back in and add color to the rest of these and I'm going to go back in and I'm going to add I'm going to do the the blue in the same areas that I added it on my first tangle and doing it on every other one and now we're going to come back down to this little blue one I mean this little one I have a blue pen in my hand and do the same thing here okay now I'm going to take my prisma white and I'm going to fill in with white behind on my on the other loop and this is why I like the aura around it it just gives it another dimension where the two meet now I'm going to get it's it's time to do some shading so I'm going to pick up my white chalk pencil 
and I'm going to add some white chalk just down in the bot tips of this. I'm going to pull it up. I tried this with Prisma and it just doesn't work as well as the chalk does. Each medium has a, um, a different effect on your tangles and the chalk pencil just blends out and adds a beautiful dimension to that, to that blue in there. You can see how that just brightens that particular tangle up. And when um, Spin and Swirl was done, she did a beautiful, just that little pin pressed behind and you can see I also did it on this one in different colors. This one I did it in on black with the gold and white pen. This one here I did, this is um, a white, my white um, Prismacolor pencil. So we're going to do a couple of them here and I'm just going to show you the different. We're going to start and I'm going to do some black ones with black. Some pen press. Print temps. There's one in black. And then I'm going to take my white Prismacolor pencil. It's not quite, it's, it just has a little softer look to it that you can put in the background. And I love gray tiles for that reason. You can actually do it on about any color of tile. I did it on um, the tan tiles. Um, I did it, um, here I just used a jelly roll. I didn't use the, um, the white Prisma color. But I'm also going to do some alternating where I have some, some others in the background. But I absolutely loved this little tangle and the use of the different colors in it. I'm going to bring back in the, these ones that I did um, on different colored tiles, on a plain white tile that's not quite finished. But this is a great tangle. Thanks again to Schlippa? Schlippy? Oh, I really slaughtered the name. But she's a great tangler and a great it shared um, with us and I had a great time with it. Thanks again for watching and don't forget to subscribe new videos on Tuesdays and Thursdays and live Zoom class on Tuesdays. Thanks again and have a great day.